Hello everyone, in this video we will see how we can install subdomain module on table track. So let's get started. First we will log in as super admin. Let's log in. And then from the top right corner click on the name and click on custom modules. From here click on install and update module. And we are getting a mess error message that says server upload max si file size is 2 MB. But our sub but our subdomain module is just 15 KB. So we can upload that file. But if you if any module that is greater than 2 MB won't be uploaded here. In that case, you will have to make changes to your server and increase the upload max size. So let's upload the subdomain module. Click on drop. So this is the subdomain module of table track. Here you can see the name is code canyon, some random is subdomain module dot zip. So you need to upload the exactly the same zip file that you downloaded from the code canyon. Do not manually zip that file. So let's upload it. After uploading, the file will appear at the bottom. Just click on install. And after installing, we will be redirected to the custom module index page. Here we have the subdomain module. Now what we have to do is just click on activate subdomain module. So we have a pop-up. You need to properly read this pop-up before activating the subdomain module. Do not activate without reading and making the configuration on your server. So for that, it read the warning message. And the second most important point is make sure your DNS and wildcard subdomains are properly configured. Only then activate this. So let's uh, jump to the cPanel how we can do that. So we'll go to the cPanel, search for domains, domains or subdomain, whichever available on your server. And here we will be entering the wildcard subdomain. Let's click here and star.restroflow.in and let's go to the domains again. Here we will be entering the exactly same document route which is available for the main application means the public underscore HTML. Remove this part and click submit. So now we have created the wildcard subdomain. Now we have to cross verify that if we uh, open any random subdomain, it should open the table track website. So let me open some random subdomain. Let me copy this first and in the new terminal random dot so this error message is coming due to ssl ssl is not configured for wildcard subdomain you need to ask your hosting provider for providing the wildcard ssl let's click proceed and now we can see the table track application that means the wildcard subdomain is working properly let me open some other random subdomain here also we can see the table track website. That means the subdomain wildcard subdomain is work, working perfectly fine. So the next step will be click on activate confirm activation. So the subdomain module now has been activated on your server on your table track application. So these are the changes. So your new super admin login URL is going to be this one means super dash admin dash login at the URL. You need to copy it and paste and secure it to some uh, place where you can remember that or just remember the URL because uh, now the uh, regular public login page won't be available. Companies will have their own login page with their subdomain. So after activating, let you need to enter the purchase code which you got from the code canyon and then we go to restaurants. And here you will see all the companies now have some some subdomains demo spice bombay restro flow and if any company or any restaurant do not have any subdomain then you can go to edit page and here you can enter the subdomain simply on the add page now you have another input field with the name of subdomain and also let's open this subdomain and see what we are getting so we are getting the restaurant data of the demo restaurant or the first restaurant here as you can see if if 
if restaurant wants to log in that they have to go to login url this is the login url for them let's log in the default login for this restaurant is one two three four five six and then so let's change the theme of this first company let's go to theme setting let me change the logo and also the color and click save so as you can see the color schema is changed for this uh, restaurant let me log out and let's see the login page so here as you can see the login page of this restaurant have their own specific logo let's go back to the super admin panel and reload this and we can see the logo for subdomain we also have subdomain setting let's go to that first so here we have the subdomain setting here we can means ban the subdomain that we do not want the restaurants to get registered we do not want any restaurant with the name test in the url so we'll add test and wildcard this so any uh, res uh, any restaurant trying to add test in the subdomain won't be able to do that so after adding let's log out and try to sign up click on get started here we have a new input field with the name subdomain let's try test and click next so we are getting the error sorry you are not allowed to use this subdomain and let's try something else so we are not getting error for this so uh, from the super admin panel we can means ban the subdomains also and let if come restaurant forgets their uh, subdomain they can simply go to login and from here they can click on find your restaurant login url and they will enter the email so restaurant url will be emailed to their email address and this is the sign in page from here they can also go to their restaurant url so this is the restaurant url so let's go back to the super admin panel super admin at example.com so this is all for the subdomain module on c panel now let's jump to the plus server how we can do that on the plus server and this is the plus server where we have also installed the rest table track application let me open it so this is the table track application installed on plus server let me log in as super admin and install the subdomain module for that again we'll go to the custom modules from top right corner and click on install and from here we will upload the file that we downloaded from the code canyon next step is just click the install button and click on activate now again we got the pop up here most important point is this one make sure your dns and wildcard subdomains are properly configured so let's jump to the server and create a wildcard subdomain let's go to the plesk server and here click on the domains and from here click on add subdomain here we will be entering star as you can see enter star to create wildcard subdomains and document root will be let's go back to domains and here click on hosting settings and from here we can see the document root is http with public so let's copy this and paste here and click on ok So wildcard subdomain is created on the server. Let's cross verify it by opening some random subdomain. Let me try random dot dot Asia and let's click advance and proceed. So here, as you can see, now we, uh, table track application is running on some random subdomain. Let me try some other also one more. Here also we are seeing the table trap application that means the wildcard subdomain is working properly in the next step now will be click on confirm activation and now the subdomain module is activated on your server on your table track application just enter the purchase code and you are good to go in the restaurants menu you will see the link of subdomain just click on that the login page of demo company will be opened. Not, not the login page but the restaurant page for the login you will have to click on login 
एंटर द लॉग इन एट द एंड एंटर and the, uh, as you can see logo uh, this logo specific i have entered for this demo restaurant and we can see that on the login page all and configurations related to the subdomain module i have explained earlier you can go back and check that so this is how we can we configure the wildcard subdomain on plesk and another thing i would like to highlight here is suppose if you want your if you have installed your table track on sub sub domain already like on app.worksuit.wiz like on this so we are getting this message that no restaurant found on this sub domain so if you have installed the table track on that and after activating you are getting this message you just have to go to the env file let me go back and open the env file go to files and click on dot env and here we will be entering the main subdomain that is dot yeah and click save and resume and let's reload again so now as you can see we are able to get our table track application running on that specific subdomain so this is all for now if you still face any issue contact us our team will respond to that thank you